It's a joy to be with you on this Wednesday of the Word of Encouragement. And today I'd like to go to the Psalms, Psalm 139. And here you have the heart of the psalmist David as he just opens his heart and talks about how God knows him and how wonderful God has been to him and then speaks of those that hate him and how he has uh, had to battle the wicked and he says in verse uh, 22 I hate them with a perfect hatred I count them mine enemies he's speaking of those that oppose the Lord and those that have opposed him but here's what I think is so amazing he ends this psalm with a very humble note Verse 23, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Instead of just staying on this fact that he's siding with God against the wicked and that he is very disturbed by what they're doing, he then, instead of staying on that goes to looking at his own heart you know we can be all about the cause of Christ and we can have a real reaction to those that are opposed to the Lord and many times those who are opposed to us some of you on the job or some of you with family some of you with neighbors have an attack on your life uh, in the sense of your uh, testimony and they'll say things and do things and it's normal to react, but we don't want to be introspective. But the way for us to manage it right is to pray for them and to love them and let God work, still maintaining our position of being on God's side, and then ask God to search us. Now, it doesn't say here um, the, to, I need to search me, O oh me. No, search me, O oh God. That keeps us out of false guilt. That keeps us out of introspection. Instead, it causes us to hear the voice of the Lord. And he wants the Lord to show him his own heart, to know, show him his own thoughts, if there's anything that he's not thinking right or doing right. Because he wants to be in the right way himself. That which will have an impact for eternity. Such good counsel from the Spirit of God through David here. As we do react to some of the very negative things of our day, things that grieve us, things that hurt us, we need to step back and see if maybe God's dealing with us too. Sometimes our enemies are reflections of ourselves. Sometimes uh, we're not reacting right. We have bitterness. And if we're going to keep our hearts pure as we stand for the truth, we've got to be humble before God and let him work in our hearts and get anything right that needs to get right. To have a heart of love, even in our stand, have a, uh, a spiritual discernment so that we can be truly right with God and manage what's going on in a proper way. So those are great verses on the heels of this matter of responding to all that's going on around Let's make sure we're humble, let God work in our hearts, and let's respond to his leading so that we can be used of God.